Hey guys, it's Tyler from Universal Rackets, and today we are going to be teaching you how to hit a top spin serve in pickleball. Once again, if you stay tuned for this whole video, you're going to be able to learn step by step on how to hit top spin on your pickleball serve. Now, regardless of age, regardless of level, this video will help you improve your game. Now, first off, why do you want top spin on your serve? Why don't you just want a flat serve or a slice serve? I want you to think top spin means the ball is spinning downward into the court. So the further you progress in pickleball, the harder you're going to be able to hit your serve. The harder you hit your serve, the faster the ball is going to go on the other side. So I want you to watch this. When I get more advanced, what's going to happen is a normal serve with no spin, straight flat watch straight to the fence. But by hitting topspin, it's going to allow the ball to dip into the court. So watch this, same swing, but now look, the ball is going to be able to dip into the court. So once again, if you can learn how to hit this topspin serve and you watch this whole video, you're going to be able to hit a more harder, faster, more consistent serve because it's going to dive in. Also topspin is going to confuse your opponents. So stay tuned and let's get started. So the first thing that I want to teach you for topspin is again, the path of the ball. Topspin means the ball is going to be spinning downward. It's going to be diving downward. The ball is going to be going this way. Now, how do we hit that in pickleball? I want you to think in order to generate that type of spin, you need to brush up on the ball. Once again, if you want to generate that type of spin, you need to brush up on the ball. And what I mean by that is by going low to high. Think 12 o'clock is on top of the ball, six o'clock is below the ball. You need to go from six to 12, from south to north. By brushing up the back of the ball, that's going to cause friction and that's going to make the ball spin downward. If you hit through the ball, that's going to be flat. Normal pickleball players, when they learn how to serve, they come under the ball, so it's going to be flat, right? If you swing high to low, that's going to be slice. I have a video for that. I'm going to put that in the description, how to hit a slice serve. But if you swing low to high on the ball, that's going to be topspin. Now remember, in 2022, going into the new 2023 season, they made a rule that you can't spin the ball in your hand. And I know I'm going to get a ton of comments on this. You can't spin the ball with your hand anymore, but you can spin the ball with the paddle. Once again, you are allowed, it is perfectly legal in pickleball to spin the ball with your paddle, just not with your hand. So again, the first thing to do is low to high, brushing up the back of the ball. Now, I want you to think when I hit a normal flat serve, I am swinging forward, right? Now, the first thing that I want you to do is just work on finishing high. I want you to work on lifting the ball. This is going to create the foundation for our topspin. So once again, the first tip that I'm gonna give you when you're trying to learn how to hit this topspin serve is you are going to just work on finishing up over your shoulder. Let me do two of them, ready? So here we are. I'm going to finish up over my shoulder. Let's do one more. I'm going to finish up over my shoulder and I'm going to freeze. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it from that angle, but I want you to know this where my elbow is pointing. Where is my elbow pointing? My elbow is pointing directly towards my target. My elbow is also up. It's not here. When I hit a normal serve, my elbow is going to be down because I'm just going forward. And now I'm pointing my elbow up to ensure that my swing path is up. Think a normal serve, I'm going forward. And now I am swinging up. I'm kind of making like a check mark. So by pointing your elbow up, that's going to ensure that your swing path is more low to high. Now, the next tip that I'm going to give you, this is going to take your game to the next level, is I need you, if you wanna to hit topspin on your serve, you are going to tilt your paddle face downward. So if you are a right-handed player, here's 12 o'clock with the top of your paddle, you're going to tilt it to 11 o'clock. If you're a left-handed player, you're going to tilt it to one o'clock. You want your paddle face 
facing downward. Normal players, when they hit a normal pickleball shot or a normal serve, it is just straight. It's continental grip. It's the normal grip that many players begin with in pickleball. If you want to hit a slice, you can turn it the opposite way. Again, that video link is in the description, how to hit a slice serve. But now if you want to hit a topspin serve, you want to make sure you tilt that paddle down. The paddle face is tilted downward. Now, instead of brushing up the back of the ball and only getting this much of the ball, watch. By tilting it downward, now I am getting a lot of the ball. So what I'm going to do when I finish is, or when I'm proceeding throughout my serve, is I'm going to make sure I start with my paddle tilted downward. So a great drill to do is start with your paddle straight out, tilt your paddle downward, and now you're gonna hit your serve. And again, when you hit your serve, where are we going to finish? The first thing that I made you guys do is what? Point your elbow up to ensure that you're going low to high. Guys, top spin can't happen without going low to high on the ball. So first, we have the swing path. Now we're teaching you to grip, and let's see what happens. So you're gonna drop the ball out in front again, and what are we going to do? You're going to finish up higher, right? So I hit that ball in the net. So what does that mean? I need to finish more higher. I need to get more under the ball. So I'm tilting my paddle down. And again, I'm going to finish high. One more. I'm going to tilt my paddle down. And again, finish high. Here and here. Now, a big thing with the top spin serve. You need to make sure three Bs behind the line, below the ball, below the hip. Once again, for a legal serve. Now guys, I get a lot of comments, especially on my short reels. Tyler, that serves illegal, it's illegal. I've played so many tournaments. I've played so many open plays. I've played against a lot of really good players and I have never gotten called for my serves. So as long as it's not blatantly over your chest or at your belly button and it looks like this, you guys are gonna be perfectly fine. No one's going to call you for that serve unless you're playing on the PPA Tour. And even if you're playing on the PPA Tour, it's gonna to have to be one of those center court on TV ESPN refereed match matches. So the only thing that you have to make sure you do is when you make contact, you're making contact at or below your hip. You can't be going like this. And again, topspin is low to high. So I'm tilting the paddle down. I'm making sure that I'm getting low and then I am finishing up. So here we are. I'm gonna drop out in front again tilt the paddle down already, so here we are. Drop it out in front of me, and again, I am going to finish up with my elbow pointing up. Now, do you guys want even more topspin? I'm giving you all the ingredients to this amazing topspin type of serve, okay? Think of it like it's a cake. We're giving you all the ingredients in the cake. We're making the cake now. And then here's the thing, once you have the cake, then we're gonna put icing on it and we're gonna decorate it. So. The cake's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be edible once we put all these ingredients together. I'm gonna to give you one more, right? But then we're gonna put icing on the cake and it's going to make it absolutely insane, all right? Are you ready? The next tip that I want you to do is I want you to not only adjust your swing path by going low to high, but I want you to drop into your back leg. Once again, when I hit this topspin serve, especially like a topspin lob serve, what I can do is I'm going to drop into my back leg. Notice when I hit this top spin serve, I'm dropping into this back leg. It's going to allow me to now hit up on the ball. If my legs are standing straight up and I swing, I'm going to go on top of the ball. If I drop onto my back leg though, and I start onto my back leg with it tilted, that's going to allow me to even get more under the ball. Now notice the higher that I hit the ball, the more gravity is going to play in effect and the higher of the bounce it's going to be to your opponent. Now, I don't want to exaggerate this type of thing because it's not a tennis ball, it's a pickleball. However, the ball is going to bounce and it's going to kick up at your opponent. The higher it comes in, the higher it's going to be at your opponent. A high heavy topspin serve that's deep into the court is going to keep your opponent back. So not only it's gonna help you get the serve in and not miss long, but now it's going to make your opponent uncomfortable. Also, a lot of beginner intermediate players, they do not know how to handle topspin. So if you can learn this video, again, it's for any level, anyone, you're gonna be able to use this serve in your open plays and your meetups, wherever you're playing against these 
uh, lower level players and you're going to win every single point because they're just not going to know how to return it. Now, if you want to learn how to return any type of spin, make sure to click the link in my description on how to return every single type of spin in pickleball. If your opponents see that, then if they watch that video, then probably they won't have as much trouble, but they still will. Okay. Notice too, how hard am I hitting it right now? I'm learning. I'm trying to get the feel for the top spin. I'm not blasting it. I'm not hitting the ball as hard as possible. I'm getting into my back leg. I'm dropping the ball. I'm tilting the paddle and I'm finishing up. That is a good serve. Now, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the hardest, absolutely swing as hard as I can, one being the slowest, I'm probably hitting it as a three or four. And this is a huge thing. If you could get a 30 or 40% reliable top spin serve, it's going to make it so much more confident for you. It's going to be super effective and you're not going to lose many points. So that is the type of topspin that you want to do. Now we are going to get into the specific hand movement. Now hand movement, when players think spin, they think that they have to turn the wrist in pickleball. Once again, players will go out, John, Nancy, Sam, whoever it is, they're going to go, oh, I'm going to hit topspin. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh man, I can't hit it. Oh yeah. And then look, they're doing all that stuff, right? Actually that one went in, but who cares? You don't turn your wrist. Any type of spin in pickleball, you never turn your wrist. I will say that a third time. You never want to turn your wrist with topspin. You never want to turn the key. You never want to turn the ignition. All you want to do for the topspin shot is go from low to high. So the best way to learn how to hit topspin on your serve is all it is is a sideways wave. Once again, if you're going to hit topspin on your serve, all you're going to do is a sideways wave. So Tyler, you said a sideways wave. What do you mean by a sideways wave in pickleball? That's how you hit topspin. That's the type of movement that I mean. And the best way to learn is the sideways wave. Now, let's all go. We're watching it on our phones. We're watching it on our TV, on our computer screens. Everyone put their hand up in there. Wave it like you just don't care, right? All you're going to do is put your hand up out in front in the air, wherever you are right now. Stop the video or keep on doing it, but I'm not going to go until you put your hand in the air. Is everyone's hand in the air? Are you sure? All right, let's go. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to do your wave. You're going to wave to me. I'm going to wave to you. You're going to wave to your screen. I'm going to wave to you guys. Hey guys. Hey mom and dad. Here we are. Ready? Now watch what I'm going to do. Okay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do my wave, but now all I'm going to do is tilt my wave to the side. Notice again, I'm going to do my wave and then I'm going to turn my wave 90 degrees. Notice my fingers are pointing to the side. I'm not straight back this way. Maybe some people are, but all I'm doing is here and then here. Now, all I'm going to do is once I turn my hand, all I'm going to do is tilt my hand downward. So again, wave, turn the wave, tilt the palm downward a little bit. Now, what does tilting the palm downward a little bit simulate? The same thing. You want your paddle face down. You want your palm face down. Are you guys still with me? Because this is going to teach you the topspin movement, not only for the serve, but for ground strokes. Okay, here we are straight. Now we're going to tilt it. Now we're going to tilt the uh, paddle face or palm face down. Now, all you're going to do is you are going to do your wave. Guys, this is how you hit topspin. Do the wave, turn the hand, tilt the palm down, and now go like this. That is how you generate topspin. Watch, here we are, ready? You guys see my sideways wave? See it, see it, see it, see it, see it, right? Here we are, now we put the hand in. Look, this is that low to high motion. So again, this is that low to high motion that you want. That's how you hit topspin. So what you're going to do in a great drill to understand this is just go out, Try to do your sideways wave and just get a couple balls, drop it, and then go low to high and hit. Again, you're gonna get a couple of balls, you're gonna drop it, let it bounce, and hit. Try to do that sideways wave every single time. So again, I'm gonna drop it again, and then I am going to do my sideways wave. You're going to start to get the feel for the topspin. You're going to start to get a feel for the swing path. Now we are going to put it all together once we do that, once we get the feel. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start out front. Again, what am I doing? I'm getting into my back leg. I'm doing my sideways wave. And then again, I'm finishing up with my elbow. So again, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna get in my leg. 
I'm going to sideways wave. Again, I'm not turning my wrist, sideways wave, and then I'm going to finish with my elbow. So out in front, here we are, sideways wave, finish up with the elbow. One more, here we are, out here, sideways wave, finish with the elbow. By doing that, that's going to get you the proper swing path on the ball, and you're going to be able to generate that top spin that you need. Now, we're going to put the icing on the cake. Are you ready? Perfect, okay. So, a lot of times what's gonna happen is you're gonna be going playing, you're gonna be playing your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your wife, your mistress, your spouse, whoever you're playing, and you're going to want to beat them, okay? This doesn't just work for topspin serve, this happens for everything. You're going to grip the paddle super tight and try to beat them. And when you grip the paddle super tight, it is not going to be right. Or, you're gonna watch this video, you're gonna learn all this information, you're gonna 50 things to think about in your head, you're gonna go out, you're gonna do it, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this, this, that, 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 and then you're gonna get super tight, and the ball's going to go super long. When you grip, the paddle tight. It's not going to be right. Again, if I grip this paddle super tight, the ball's going to go super long. You need to remember my quote in pickleball, which is, in pickleball to gain control, you have to give up control. The more you let the paddle work for you, and the less you work for the paddle, the better you're going to be, and the more consistency you are going to have. They say you need to let the golf clubs work for you, let the money work for you. You need to let the pickleball paddle work for you. These paddles are like $300, but if you use my link in the description for a $300 paddle, you'll be able to get like a $60 gift, co uh, gift card on sellkirk.com if you use our promo code ADV-Universal at checkout for these awesome things. But these paddles are what? They're super expensive. So let them work for you. You bought it, put it to good use. Don't put your arm to use. You can't buy a new arm, you can buy a new paddle, okay? And that's why a lot of players struggle with injuries, right? Because they grip the paddle super tight. So the next thing that I'm going to have you do is grip the paddle super loose. When I take the paddle back on a scale one to 10, 10 being a death grip, one being dropping the paddle, I want it at about a two. Once again, when I grip this paddle, I want it about a two out of 10. If you came up to me right now, you got up out of your chair, you went through the screen and you came up to me before I'm going to serve, and you tried to take the paddle out of my hand, it would come right out of my hand. You'd be able to take the paddle right out of my hand. However though, if I came up to you right now, if you had your paddle, you're going to serve, I come in your screen right now and I try to take the paddle out of your hand before you're serving, probably you're not going to let it go because you're gripping it too tight. So on a scale one to 10, again, I want you to hold it at a one or a two. I don't want you to hold the paddle super tight or it's not going to be right. Now, how can we know that we're holding the paddle loose enough? I'm not sure if this microphone is going to pick it up, but when I swing, if I hold it loose enough, I'm going to be able to hear the paddle against the wind. Again, if I hold this paddle super tight, you can't really hear it as much. If I hold it super loose though, I'm going to be able to really hear that paddle. So by hearing the whoosh, that ensures that you're holding it loose. Now, why do you wanna hold the paddle super loose? Why does more wind pick up? Because your paddle is accelerating. I want you to realize, Rotation equals acceleration, or acceleration equals rotation. The more you accelerate through your paddle, the faster, by holding it loose, it's going to brush the back of the ball, and that's why you're going to be able to get way more topspin when you hit. The reason why the pros can hit such a big ball, but it looks effortless, and the ball always goes in, is because they're holding the paddle super loose. If we try to hit that ball, and when you try to look like the pros, they're probably gonna hit it, and it's gonna go super long. By holding this paddle super loose again, and by accelerating and letting the paddle work for me, that's going to dive the ball in instead of going long, and hopefully it's going to go in the proper um, box, right? That one was out, but that's okay. Let me know in the comments. Please tell me, Tyler, you have no clue what you're talking about. You missed one serve, I saw it. Your video's horrible, your video's too long, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the icing on the cake. So the icing on the cake is before we were hitting at like a 30%. Now, by holding the paddle loose, by letting the paddle work for me, by applying all these tips while being loose, using the acceleration equals rotation, rotation equals acceleration, now I'm going to be able to, I hit my uh, serves open stance, but now I'm going to be able to crack 
those types of serves. Now I'm not going to be able to just get the ball in. Now I'm taking it to another level. I'm going to be able to hit the ball as hard as I want and that ball is going to be able to go in by using these principles. So by accelerating and holding that paddle loose, now you're going to be able to hit a bigger shot. Not only a faster shot, but why does the ball, I hit it just as hard, right? I hit it even harder and that ball's still going to dive into the court. It's very simple. I told you, we have to get under the ball. I told you how to use your back leg to go low to high. I want you to think about it this way. This is where players go wrong and this is why holding the paddle loose is going to change your game. When I hold the paddle tight, watch the tip of my paddle. You see it? Look at the tip of my paddle. Now I go to swing with the tip of my paddle, watch where the ball goes. Okay, maybe that's good. I'm gonna swing a little bit harder. I don't wanna hit those people over there. So that's why I'm like hesitant, but we're gonna see. Here we are, paddle's tight. I'll go over here, right? Paddle's tight. Let's see, ready? See? Look, it went out, right? Why did it go out? Because look, my paddle's not getting below the ball. Now watch, when I hold my paddle loose, watch the tip of my paddle, are you ready? I'm gonna hold it loose. Look, so tight, again, loose. Loose, tight, tight, loose. By holding the paddle loose and letting the paddle work for me, that's going to automatically point my paddle tip downward so now I can get below the ball even more. Again, a lot of players, they can't hit the shot, they can't hit hard with their topspin because they grip the paddle tight, their paddle's not allowed to get under the ball. Now I'm holding that paddle loose, the paddle tip is facing down, so now I can really get under that ball, not only with my body, not only with my swing path, not only with the proper wrist movement, but now I'm able to really whip it and drop and get under, swing really up on the ball by getting my paddle here, by being loose so I can get below and on top of the ball. Did you guys see that? Again, if I'm tight, I'm going here. If I'm loose, I release. Racket tips pointed downward a little bit and I can go up on that ball and get so much more topspin. Now another exercise and another tip that can help you get under the ball, not only by holding the paddle loose, and I showed you from this angle, but I'm going to do this angle, okay? So I'm gonna serve to you guys right now and watch. I'm gonna hold this paddle loose, here we are, and I'm gonna swing and I'm gonna get under the ball. Once again, I'm gonna swing, here we are, I'm gonna go loose and under, but I'm gonna stop prior to contact. Notice where my butt cap of my paddle is pointing. Where's my butt cap of my paddle pointing? It's pointing to you guys, right? My butt cap is pointing to you guys. So by dropping the paddle, the butt cap is going to be pointing forward. That's going to point the tip of the paddle downward to also get you under the ball. So what you can think is the butt cap is a flashlight. You're going to shine the butt cap as long as you can forward. So it's gonna allow the paddle to get under the ball and then on top of it. And again, remember, I'm never twisting my wrist. Again, taking the paddle back, dropping, being loose, shining the butt cap. So point the butt cap forward as long as you can and then finish up and over your shoulder. So by pointing the butt cap or the flashlight tip, that's gonna help you get under the ball as well. A lot of pros, they say wrist lag. Oh, you want wrist lag with your shot. Well, wrist lag, how do we get wrist lag? This is how you achieve wrist lag. Wrist lag is the result. Notice the wrist is first, then the paddle. But by pointing the butt cap, this teaches you wrist lag, what all these pickleball gurus teach, okay? So again, I'm going to think when I go out and hit, I'm going to point my butt cap and I'm going to lag my wrist. So here we are, I'm loose, shine the butt cap as long as I can forward, and then up. Here we are, I'm gonna go again, shine as long as I can forward. A lot of, I played this one guy that had such a big serve. Um, What's his name? Alex. I'm pretty sure his name's Alex. Yeah, his name's Alex. Forget his last name. I wish I could shout him out. Alex Crum. Alex Crum. Google or YouTube Alex Crum. He's like an upcoming pickleball player. Great guy. Amazing guy. Awesome. Awesome dude. Follow him. Okay. Not sponsored or anything, but I played him once and he absolutely kicked my butt with his serve. I couldn't return his heavy topspin serve and I was watching him and it literally looks like his paddle is vertical at contact or prior to contact, like the tip is down, the racket tips up, and then he's going. And I really tried to do it as well because it gets you so much topspin. So if you can think, again, that you're pointing the butt cap forward, really pointing that tip down, also you can think that your paddle tip is weighted, that's going to really help you generate that topspin like that, okay? 
Now, I want you to think, if you ever hit the ball in the net, all you have to do is get under the ball more. Once again, if you ever hit in the net, all you have to do is get under the ball more. Now, if you're putting all these tips together and utilizing these tips, you're gonna hit many balls in the net because why? Topspin makes the ball dip in. So many balls, they'll just go forward now, they're going to be diving in. So if you ever play pickleball and you ever feel like you're hitting the ball in the net, all you gotta think is more under and up. So if you ever hit the ball again, you have all these topspin tips, and the ball goes in the net, that means you're going more, more forward, you need to just go more up on the ball. And if you ever go too far up, just like I did there, missed the one in the net, then I missed long, I need to accelerate more. I need to let it go. And that's a huge thing. If I hit the ball long, it's either A, because I'm picking my head up, my body's coming up too much, or, I'm slowing down. Again, acceleration equals rotation. Rotation equals acceleration. So in pickleball to gain control, you have to give up control. I need to go for it to allow that paddle to get that action on the ball. And guys, this is what is huge for this topspin pickleball shot. A lot of players, they try to get the ball in, like I said before. If you really wanna get topspin, you can't care about it. You have to do it and not think about the repercussions of missing the ball, thinking about the pressure. The more you go for this topspin serve, the better it's going to be. So that's why you need to use these tips and these tricks that I gave you in a drilling setting with your partner. Get a case of balls, get a ton of balls, and just keep on going over and over and over again so you can get that confidence and then you can get that type of shot that you can bring it into your game. Because again, you're not gonna go out and you're not gonna go at 80 million percent at first. You're going to wanna slow it down and it's gonna go long. So go out, drill, and again, just go out 10, 15 balls, 20, even 100 balls, and just work on swinging as fast as you can using these tips, though. You have to use the tips and just see what happens, right? I'm going, if I'm practicing right now on my topspin serve, which I do, uh, I wouldn't say daily, I'd say maybe monthly. I should probably practice more, but I'm super busy. Um, what am I doing? I'm going out, tons of balls. Just, I don't care if I miss them, but what am I doing? If I hit them long, I'm gonna accelerate more. Maybe I'll keep my head down. If I hit in the net, I'm going to get under it. So go out, not care about missing them, but when you drill, you need to realize why you missed it or realize the adjustment to make. Again, I gave you the adjustments, right? If it goes too long, put your head down, accelerate more. If it goes in the net, you need to get under the ball, get below the ball, hold the paddle looser, right? Drop your legs. That's how you're going to do it. Repetition and figuring out why is going to make uh, your game. I was uh, doing the pickle yogi. Everyone knows my beautiful wife, Michelle. Uh, we've, we've been super busy right now. We've been in the process of um, a move. We've been sick. We've been trying to keep these videos alive. So that's why I'm doing a couple of videos myself. Can't wait to have her back. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be filming again. But her, I was teaching her to slice that other video. My last video that I just posted, I was teaching her the slice. And during that slice video, if you guys see, I actually got so mad at her. I'm like, Michelle, I am such a mad coach right now at her backhand slice return. And I'm like, do you know why? And she's like, because I messed it. I'm like, no. I'm like, why am I mad at you right now? Why am I? I am so ticked off at you right now. You know the reason why? Because she made the same mistake three times in a row. She made three slices, I think they were long. Every single slice is long. If I hit three times long, what should I do? The next time it should be in the net. You need to make adjustments. You never wanna make the same mistake three times in a row. It's okay if you make a mistake. We're all gonna make a mistake. We're not perfect. In tennis, which I assume it's just like pickleball, but we'll see. In tennis, Roger Federer, Rafa Nadal, Novak Djokovic, the highest amount of points that they win, I think the stat is like 53 or 54% of their points. Now, they haven't charted this in pickleball yet, or I haven't seen it, but 53 or 54% of the points. The best in the world ripping these forehands and backhands in tennis are winning basically half of their points. What does that mean? They miss half the time, so it's okay to miss. The top in the world miss. Ben Johns misses with his serves once in a while, right? But what isn't it, right? What will make me super mad? I'm watching you, right? What will? It's that you're making the same mistake more than three times in a row. So always make an adjustment. And when you go out and play, again, if you hit it long, hit it in the net next time. Hit it in the net, hit it long. Never make the same mistake three times in a row. Use these tips. 
Use these tricks, guys. I pray, I hope this had to help you hit top spin. All these tips for any level, any age. We started slow, again, finishing up, then swinging up, what? Getting our back leg and tilting the paddle down. Then we got acceleration, then we got holding the paddle loose. This is gonna take your game to the next level. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to click the links in the descriptions. Again, I went over uh, how to return uh, all different types of spins, how to hit all different types of slice serves. Uh, I just went over, again, the backhand uh, slice return. I'll put that link. Make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. If you want any type of pickleball program in your location, make sure to fill out the Universal Rackets Partner Forum. We can come to you with all the lesson plans that I made and um, my company made, and we can go out and we can run pickleball clinics for you for every level, every age. We can be in person with you right now on court teaching you. Right now, we could be there. Wherever your local pickleball court will be there, fill out the form below. And once again, a Universal Rackets representative will get out to you in less than 24 hours. Have a good one. Happy hitting. Hit this amazing top spin, and we'll see you guys next time on court.